So I was taking a look at the map, and we've actually we've come such a far away. We started down in Fort William, all the way through Lucky Lock and Loch Ness, and we anchored right here. So really, all we have to go is this much more of a lock system. The wind just picked up, and it got real com comfortable on board. I think it's time to get out of here. The beach is, uh, we're on a lee shore, so the anchor drags, we're in trouble. All right, anchors are up. Gotta get around this to the point and we'll be safe. Pretty much are. Well, the wind woke us up pretty early this morning, but at least we get to see the sunrise. I think there's a dock about two and a half miles up here before the lock, so probably only go back to sleep for a little bit until the uh, lock operators come to work. We're doing five and a half knots under the uh, holdout jib. I guess this is where I should have anchored. The wind is blocked by the trees a lot and it's super flat and calm in here. But, oh well. I can say I anchored in Loch Ness now. I'm gonna go over there. It is super crowded on this end. Let's see if we can find a spot up here. Look at that, one spot left. Perfect size for us. Do the uh, 180 degrees in. That's my favorite way to dock. There we go. It looks like this is reserved, but we won't be here too long. Locks are just right up here. Dang, that thing is a ship. Uh-oh, the lock door has just stopped. I think they might be jammed. After struggling for a little bit, the door opened all the way and we made our way in. And we're all by ourselves. This one only goes down a few feet and we got a couple bridges to go under and then there's another flight of like five locks up ahead. All right, just got the next bridge for us to open. I love opening bridges is the best. That one was pretty confusing because it was labeled incorrectly on the um, Mavionics. Luckily, they had a little pamphlet and they wrote the, when I got closer, it had the bridge name on there. I was calling the, the wrong bridge and the guy wasn't answering until I used the right name. But we got through, no problem. Mere Town, I guess this is where they keep all their rental boats. And there's a marina up here. So our next flight of locks should be coming up for the day. I'm gonna try pulling it through all by myself. Day left on our uh, 
Canal Pass, so we're gonna stay at Seaport Marina. Check out Inverness for a day, and then we'll head on, head on towards uh, whatever we go next. I don't know yet. All right, I just spent a lot of money on this thing. <laughs> I can't believe I actually found one. Killer Pilot at a brick and mortar marine store. 540 bucks for this thing. Ugh. Look at this. Completely sealed against waterproof against the harshest environment. Such bullshit. I think the this is the TP10, the cheapest one. I think the uh, the cord is different than my my old one, which is TP32. Which I would have just got the more that one, but that one was like a thousand dollars. Oh wow, this one doesn't even have a doesn't even have a plug at all. That's kind of crappy. So you just have to seriously no 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 plug. You're kidding me. So I'm my plan is to kind of leave these this cable semi semi permanently installed. So I'm going to use these type of connectors, which I don't think will last forever, but they should last long enough. All right. So I got my connectors here and here, and I should probably actually just permanently connect these, but we'll just do this for now. Okay, here we go. Actually, it sounds a lot smoother than my last one. So, and then when I'm not using this, I'll mount it on the inside of this door. So I just need to cut a little hole out for this and then some straps, that'll be good. Cool, so now when I'm not using the autopilot, it can stay underneath this cockpit locker. I drill that hole to hold it in there. And when I want to use it, I just slide it right out. And it can stay always plugged in. Um, it does drain some battery, but I don't think it's very much when it's not being used. And I might need to cut maybe a route, a little slot in here for the cord, uh, or it can just get squashed in there. I just walked down to the end of the canal let's see take a look at the last lock and i'm gonna take my friend holly for a sail today and then probably anchor out there afterwards we are on our last two sets of locks heading out to the sea and we are free but the currents are crazy here look at that you can just see them coming through the line in and we've caught a little fish. You know what that is? What is that? Mackerel, isn't it? The mackerel? It's like, you want to eat it? Yeah. Okay, we'll get, <laughs> get a knife. I think we got a pretty decent sized snack for us. Okay. You got any ideas? <laughs> so this is the test of this autopilot and it seems to be working pretty good. A little robot. Why is there graves in here? 1500. Very. Oh. These were important people. Oh. What's in there? Oh. Oh, look at that. It's crazy. It's a guy. He was turned to stone when he saw the seal that turned into a mermaid. 91. After our sail. We decided to drive a little bit more around Scotland so I could see some of the places I hadn't seen yet. Pretty good hiking spot. Today we're on the Isle of Skye and we're going to see the fairy waterfalls. I met the fairies in Ireland 
We'll have to see if they're different, the ones in here in Scotland. <laughs> Worth the <a> drive? <laughs> Buddy's excited about it. I want to fly off that. Couple fairies. Time to go for a swim. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Found a castle that lit up at night. That's a good castle. All right, we storm it at sunrise. So back here at the harbor now, Lingonberry is looking a little bit deflated. I was gonna go for a sail today and head out to Lossy Harbor, but we've got 30 knots of wind right now and Pickle is kind of a bucking bronco out there. I think maybe, maybe I'll try again tomorrow. So instead we're off to more adventures through the highlands. Look at this ship. This could be your boat that you sail around the world. What do you think? Yeah. It's a little bit pink. A little paint? What color are you going to paint it? I want a yellow. Yellow. Got a yellow mast already. Teal yellow mast. You got teal. He could. Yeah. Hey, comes with a fuel can and a fender. Pump that up. Life raft looks just fine. Hand cart. What's that there? Capstan? A winch or something? Lots of ropes you can tie it up with. <laughs> oh, but at some point you're going to want to tie it up. Oh, look at that propeller. A nice big propeller. And the rudder is just fine shape. Good, good strong metal. This is good strong metal. Good strong metal, yeah. This is good. I can tell. Yeah. Foam. If they filled it with foam or something, I guess, right? So they maybe refloated it. I don't know. Or just to kind of add buoyancy. It's got a little legs. The legs so you can dry it out. You name it. Something with Iza in it. Is a boat. Is a boat. <laughs> Good smokestack. Huh. Quite neat. Oh, again. Penta diesel. A Volvo. It's like your car. Volvo. <laughs> nice. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you'll tune in next time where I sail to Lossy Mouth Harbor and catch up with a few repair projects on the boat. I'll see you guys then.